Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and welcome to a bit of a special video this one. This is a celebration of Cubic Games. This is their 17th anniversary uh, of publishing games, which is excellent. Congratulations, guys. Uh, they reached out and see if I wanted to be part of that celebration, and they offered to uh, sponsor a video for me to showcase their 17th anniversary sale which is going on so this is an owner discount sale so if you own any of robonauts uh, pocket mini golf puzzle book or coloring book which is actually a free game so grab that i would recommend uh, if you own any of those then you're going to get massive discounts off loads of games i'm going to put the list up on the screen now but basically they're all kind of 17 themed you're going to get a bunch of games going down to 17 cents 17 euro 17 pence and a bunch of games going down to one pound 70 keeping that kind of one and seven theme also two of their uh, bigger games door kickers and dungeon top have got discounts on them as well bring them down to five dollars or five euros as well both excellent games we're going to be having a look at those but what i thought i'd do is um just show you some of my favorite games that uh, cubic have released and uh, let you all have a look at those so have a look at that there's a website as well that's got all the details about the anniversary on i'm going to stick that down in the description below and uh, i've also got a giveaway as well for door kickers and dungeon top i've got a few codes for each of those as well so really good video hope you stick around and uh, check out some of my favorite cubic games as well leave me some comments below what you uh, what you've enjoyed from the uh, from the team over the past few years and uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new but for now Let's dive into the games. So first up is a bit of an oldie for the channel. If you've been around here for any length of time and seen any of my sell videos or my indie recommendation videos, I've just banged on about Mana Spark so many times. I just love this game. Uh, although, oddly enough, I've actually played a, another dungeon crawler from Cubic that I might like a little bit more, which is saying a lot because... I think Mana Spark is absolutely excellent. I think I picked it up on a whim. Uh, they did a massive sale and knocked everything down to like virtually pennies. So I probably got this for you know next to nothing when I had um, some coins left over or something like that. I think I might have got it for uh, five games under five pounds or something like that. But it was an excellent game and I fell in love with it. And it just is a brilliant procedurally generated uh, dungeon crawler. As I say, if you've been around the channel any time at all, you hopefully would have picked this one up off of one of my recommendations. Um, as I say, it's procedurally generated, kind of a twin stickish shooter. You use your right stick here to move this target around and travel through these kind of um, by, uh, binding of Isaac like levels. You know, you've got these dungeons, you've got a map up in the top corner. I have to find the uh, exit in each floor. Typical dungeon crawler, you collect coins, it's got, as I say, procedural, procedural generation, it's got upgrades to collect, it's got a um, bit of world building back at your camp, you can uh, get visitors and build new encampments that help you out on, with, you know, with buffs on future runs, it really is a great game. And uh, this is one of the games that is down to 17 cents, so absolutely no reason not to grab this one i just massively recommend it it is just a brilliant game i recommended it to a lot of my friends they also picked it up again maybe waited till it was on the sale because they wasn't sure you know but when they saw the uh, screenshots and stuff wasn't quite sure if they liked it and everyone i've recommended it to has just had a great time so just please get this game you will not regret it it's a uh, mana spark and uh, obviously from cubic games all these games are cubic but uh this is probably uh, just a, a massively strong recommendation from me another game now with a bit of procedural generation and some roguelikeness and also some dice chucking so if you're a fan of board games then uh, again this is one that's been an, an easy recommendation for me on the channel i did a nice little playthrough of it uh, i'll try and remember to link that up if uh, i remember but if not you can dig around for it on the channel i've uh, given this game plenty of coverage this is tharsis um Again, as I say, it's a kind of a procedural generation game. You roll these dice and you're trying to get your spaceship uh, to Mars. And we need to... There we go. You roll these dice basically and you assign them to different areas of uh, different parts of the board. So here I'm putting something to research. I'm putting something to a special ability. Can re-roll. 
as well. But it's a kind of a, not an easy game to explain in a couple of seconds. But um, as I say, if you're a fan of uh, board games, then definitely check this one out. Especially dice sort of randomization games. Something like uh, Roll for the Galaxy, for example. Something like that. I will put it into that kind of category. But you basically, if we go back, can I get out of this one now? I can't get back. Okay, let's roll these dice. And then I'll show you a little bit more about the spaceship. This game, by the way, is in the uh, slightly more expensive. This is the $1.70 range. Uh, we're going to have to re-roll that. That wasn't particularly great. What else have we got here? Ooh, three twos. That's not going to help man the beast either. That's really bad. I don't need any of those. Uh, damn. Okay. Got to leave that module. But here's, it. here's your spaceship. You've got different modules that you can assign uh, your astronauts to and they have to go there and work on little tasks so for um, you know fixing things or generating food uh, as you see there at the top we've got kind of a module that's bust at the moment we're going to send this guy into here to fix this because it's all going wrong um, each character's got its own skills so you've got the yellow astronaut in a moment I can't read his name because I'm too far away from the telly but you can uh, gradually unlock more astronauts and use them on your turn you hold down ZR to roll your dice you get one re-roll and each astronaut's got different numbers of dice see this guy's only got one which isn't particularly good and you've got these slots around the edge of the screen so you can see there uh, on the left hand side we've got his class so that's special ability for that astronaut but you need a 5 plus to add one to the hole. On the right hand side, a 5 plus roll to um, reduce the stress. And at the bottom, we can put dice into research projects. Once we've filled up 1 to 6, we can spend those dice on sort of buffs. And we've also got a dice hold as well, a bit like Yahtzee. If you want to hold a dice and then re roll the rest, we can do that. So we're going to re roll our solitary one dice at the moment. We've got a three. We can't really do much with that either. We can repair. See at the top there, we've got a repair of uh, damage of 11. We can start to bring that down. Otherwise, that is going to blow on the next turn. We'll do that. If we run out of food, by the way, you get some really bad decisions. You may have to <laughs> eat a fellow astronaut, which isn't ideal. Nobody wants to be eating people. Now, this class has obviously got a lot more dice and some high numbers here, so we can definitely fix this problem. We can put a 6 in there, and we can use the 3 in there, and that's fixed that up, so it's not going to blow up. We're going to put the 5 into reducing stress, and the 3 down into our research project, and that's it. So once you've assigned all the dice, you finish your deployment, and uh, you wait for... Once, every, once all of your astronauts have had a go, then this sort of damage system plays out. So that's a brief overview of Tharsis. It's a really good game. As I say, it's dice rolling, so a lot of randomness, but also a lot of strategic cho sort of choices to be made as well. Check out my longer playthrough as well for more information on that one. As I say, this one's one dollar seventy, one euro seventy, one pound seventy in the current sale. If you own any of those other games I mentioned at the top of the video, and uh, this again is just an easy recommendation, as are probably all of these games that I'm going to talk to you about. But that's Tharsis, and uh, let's have a look at the next one. Another super easy recommendation next, and this one is Dex, the cyberpunk adventure. Again, a game I reviewed on the channel and reviewed really well. Uh, this one is like a side-scrolling adventure, beautiful pixel art, absolutely stunning. Uh, a really great story as well, and quite adult, quite adult themes it deals with as well, sort of um, sex and bad language, so kind of not one that... You want to be playing with your kids but a really decent game uh got good combat in it it's got lots of augmentation as these kind of cyberpunk games do you've got a uh, sort of dual stick aim in there as well uh as i say lots of augmentation you can upgrade yourself and take on these side missions as well as the main story it's quite a big game as well and this one is down to one pound 70 as well one dollar 70 which is an absolute steal. I can't remember the original price of it, but I know it's uh, one of their sort of uh, higher price games, getting off for $20, I think, if not more. So a really, really great saving uh, for a game that's going to last you a lot of time and have a really good really good story in it. As I say, I'll try and link as many of these as I can uh, down in the description below, but I did do quite a long playthrough of this, and it got quite a decent number of views and a lot of interest. So... 
especially with the sort of a cyberpunk kind of uh, feeling that a lot of people have got at the moment with cyberpunk 2077 coming out uh, this one kind of fitting quite nicely and uh, well it's perfect on switch in sort of small chunks uh, or you know you can have sit down and play it for hours in front of the telly really but it's a great game uh, one I definitely recommend again as I say please check out my longer playthrough of it for more information uh, let's just get rid of this dude here down you go um, he's got no weapons we can steal oh, I can't remember how to get up there but yeah <laughs> check out my uh, my playthrough for some more um, in depth coverage of, of the gameplay anyway but yeah this is a really good one this is Dex and as I say it's down to £1.70 an absolute bargain so check this one out now when I said Mana Spark was one of my favourite dungeon crawlers from Cubic Games I hadn't played much of Blazing Beaks but I actually picked up a copy of this recently and oh my goodness what have I been missing out on I'm a big fan of Binding of Isaac um, you know it's a great game and this is just absolutely stunning and reminds me so much of Binding of Isaac in so many ways and I didn't realize you know from looking at some kind of screenshots and watching little clips of it previously how good of a game this is and again it's one of those games on the eShop where you kind of look at it and you think oh I don't really know even at sort of a cheap price you're not sure oh my goodness you have to play this game if you're a fan of uh, roguelike dungeon crawlers and that kind of thing it is absolutely brilliant you basically play this little duck, although you can unlock lots of other characters as well. All kind of bird based, so like penguins and uh, I don't know, all other birds. I can't think of any, but um, yeah, you unlock more as you uh, as you complete more challenges and get further in the game. But you just make your way through these procedurally generated levels, beating all the enemies in the room, after which point the door will unlock to the next level. Picking up coins to spend in shops as you come across them. And one of the good things about this game as well, um, versus Binding of Isaac, is this has got four player co-op as well. Uh, as well as other sort of, uh, well, grab that actually, uh, other stuff as, uh, as well that you expect in these games. It's got a daily run mode, it's got challenges, it is just absolutely jam-packed with stuff. I was checking the price, this is a $1.70 game. So again, it's in the higher bracket of the sale games. But oh my goodness, is it worth it? I would pay full price for this, absolutely no problems. And then I've died there really early on. But there you go, so you get to the end of your run. Start again with some stuff unlocked. And it's difficult. So if you're a fan of something like uh, Enter the Gungeon, or as I said, Binding of Isaac. Um, what was the other one? Nuclear Throne. Reminds me a lot of that as well. Really great graphics, presentation top notch. And just a really really fun game definitely check this one out this is blazing beaks okay up next is the world of mega tokyo 2121 and this is a carne uh this one is the uh, 17 cents 17 euros i keep saying euros it's not euros is it 17 cents uh as well 17 pence this is a um a carne as i say this is a really tough one hit procedurally generated game it's one of those great arcade games that you can just stick on and just try and beat your best score. It's really tough. As I say, one hit is going to do for you here. It's uh, katana and gunplay as well. Quite an interesting mechanic is that uh, using your katana refills your ammo for your gun. But obviously the gun gives you the range. And useful for getting out of tight spots. You've got a sort of a rage bar at the bottom as well which fills up the more kills you get. And lets you unleash some mega kills. And it's just about seeing how many uh, baddies you can get rid of in a run without getting swiped in the head like that. See, my best of all time is 39, which is probably really poor. Uh, but it's just a really enjoyable game. Again, just one of those ones you can chuck on. You know, for 17 cents, 17 pence, you've probably got that in coins anyway. And for just a really quick, fun difficult arcade game you can't go wrong really it's really nice as well great style great music and uh, something that you probably may be aware of from just seeing this here something you're going to need is tight controls and it has absolutely got that one of those games that when you die you know it's because of you one more run anyway as I say this one's 17 cents 17 pence 
and uh, if you own any of those other games there's no reason not to download at least coloring book it's free at the moment and if you've got kids my little one enjoys that one so okay i've got my special up here oh there we go but basically it just you can either fire through everybody or throw your sword for everybody and take everybody out at once but uh, a really good game that and as i say it's a cheap one it's a quick game to play good arcade game and uh, really quite enjoyable nice style as well it's a carne so next up is the first of the more expensive games on sale from cubic at the moment this is dungeon top and uh, i've got a few codes of this one to give away. i've got three codes actually if you look in the uh, description below details how to enter that um, but this is a really cool game and again one that i wasn't aware of i think it came out reasonably recently um, i'm just gonna upgrade a card there basically it's a card game but it's also a dungeon crawler so crawl through these rooms and take trying to clear out these uh, baddies out of the rooms and i'll show you how that takes place now it's kind of a half stone type card game you have to battle the enemy to clear them before you can uh, sort of uh, clear the room and move on uh, we get a chance to mulligan here so we get a chance to get rid of any cards that we don't want i think we're going to keep all those and uh, my character's at the bottom of the screen. There's different classes of character, as typical in uh, sort of dungeon crawling games. I've gone with a sort of rather generic hero. And uh, we're facing off here against a lizard mage. So the first thing you can do is you can move your hero around. They can move any orthogonal square. One space. Or you can play one of these cards. You see the little blue number in the corner? That's kind of your mana to play the card. You've got three mana at the moment on the left-hand side. Or you can upgrade that. And you play these cards adjacent to one of your characters on the screen. If you're playing another uh, minion or character out onto the board, it has to be adjacent to another minion or character. Or you can play a weapon or a spell. And uh, all of those have different sort of uh, buffs and effects. Press the Y button and you get information about the cards as well. So we've got here, we've got a Haunted Inbred. We've got a Karim Craghound. A quicken spell there so the unit you control gains haste and uh, if anyone's familiar with these sort of games you know anything from magic the gathering to hearthstone to all these sort of card playing games haste will let you uh, move immediately when summoned because normally when you put a character out on the board they're kind of sleep until the next turn so you can't use them immediately unless they have the haste keyword so let's just play some characters out on the board we've got this character here we're going to stick him in front of us we've got what is that one now? That is the Quake Buster. Uh, and you can see the keywords there. So in the middle of this card, you've got kind of a, a, a information at the top. They've got power one, hit points two. So they do one damage and can take two damage. Uh, they've got a special ability in the middle there. Last word, knock back two on adjacent units. So you've got that ability. And then, as again, like most of these games, will describe at the bottom what that means. So keywords at the bottom tells you what knock back does tells you what last word means as well so basically when this character gets killed uh they do an ability which is knock back which knocks the uh attacker back some squares so i'm gonna play uh this character's got haste so we want to play let's play this character out here and let's give them that haste oh wrong one the boots isn't it give them the haste so he can act immediately and then he will be able to move and attack. So there you can see the enemy there. They've got two. They will in the, the yellow number on their square above me. This one here will do two damage when they attack. And they can take nine damage. So we've got to wear that nine down to zero. Once you beat the, the character, the boss character here, then the you've completed the room and you know you've emptied it. But the the boss character, the lizard mage here, will be playing his own minions out as well. Um, we're going to move our hero. We can't move him very far. We should have moved him first. We've got no mana left. So we're going to end our turn with ZR. And now it's the Lizard Mage's turn. He's destroyed our character. And he's bringing out some of his minions. You can see their minions there. The yellow number is the, a 1. Which means they do 1 damage. But they can take 5 damage. So they're quite tricky to destroy. We've got our character here. He can do some damage to that baddie. Oh, what's his ability? 
amount of damage dealt. Oh no. So this character here, the Lizard Berserker, <laughs> the amount of damage you deal to them in an attack, they get that much power. So that's why his power has just gone up to a five because I hit him with with some uh, with some attack. So that's not great. So you have to clear the minions out basically and then kill this boss character. When you've done that, you can then uh, complete the room and move on. But this is a really good game. It's, I know it's a really brief overview. I may do a longer video on this because it kind of warrants it. But this is Dungeon Top. Um, and I just really like... I, I'm a big fan of Hearthstone anyway and Magic the Gathering. And you really get that feel. If you're a fan of those sort of games, then you're probably going to like this. And I love the fact it's got that kind of card playing element, but also... Uh, dealt in with a dungeon crawler as well you know you can find loot you can upgrade your character all that kind of good stuff and the aesthetics really nice as well reminds me a lot of darkest dungeon uh, the kind of aesthetic and the artwork so a real nice game so this one's down to five dollars it isn't in that sort of 17 uh, anniversary bracket but it has got discount off it and uh, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. next up is a really excellent roguelike uh, dungeon crawler as well plenty of these on the list a big fan of these this one is hyper parasite again kind of a full price uh, game usually from cubic games this one is one dollar seventy one euro seventy and uh, one pound seventy at the moment this one's got a really unique premise around it I remember being at uh, EGX raised a couple of years ago and was basically accosted by the developers who demanded I come and played their game and I'm glad I did because it was excellent and uh, I really was uh, looking forward to it. It took a while to come out on the Switch after coming out on the PC. But it was definitely worth the wait. In this game, as I say, it's got a unique premise. You play as this little parasite. When you're in this parasitic state, you get one hit before you are killed. But the object of the game here, as I've gone into a room that I don't really want to be in. Because I can't really show you the mechanics. Let's get out of there. as a shop. Um, you see that sort of a glowing blue ring around me? That is my uh, sort of possession area, and anyone that steps into that area, I can basically jump into their brain and possess them, and turn into that character. So at the moment, I've jumped into Jeffrey Race, was it Pace? But basically, I've jumped into his brain, and he's a cop. So I take on the attributes of the cop. I can do cop things. I've got um, a gun that needs reloading, but I've got a gun, and. Uh, you basically need to clear the area of the baddies and at any time you can jump out of your host body so by holding that X I can jump back into a parasitic state here and then try and uh, jump into someone else I've jumped into Jorge Brigland or George Brigland uh, I'm not sure what he is some sort of in inventor maybe but that's like the beauty of this game is like there's so many different host bodies you don't quite know what you're getting into when you jump into it. But basically, you've got like a twin stick shooter. You've got a right stick to aim here. Hold down or press ZR to fire your weapon. This one takes a little while to build up. It's like a beam, like a Ghostbuster beam. Actually, I think he is based on the Ghostbusters. I'll come back to that in a sec. But uh, And ZL as well. It is a Ghostbuster, isn't it? Because there's a trap that I'm throwing out that will suck in anyone. So he is basically a Ghostbuster. Um, but yeah, this game is very heavy on like 80s culture, 80s pop culture. So there's all characters you can get from I don't know, 80s wrestlers to sort of um, Schwarzenegger and uh, Rambo and all this kind of thing. A lot of 80s pop culture that you can do. So as you can see, I'm a Ghostbuster. As I say, I've finally figured that out. But uh, yeah, a really, really good game. It's a, as I say, a unique premise. It's a very difficult game. But once you get the hang of it, it's a ton of fun. Especially once you start unlocking some of those characters. You go into these shops here. We can't afford anything there. But we're looking at the map. This is the, our next exit out of here. I'm going to find some baddies to kill here. Some bums. They push trolleys around. Basketball player there. We can possess them. So I got hit there. So I'm back in my parasitic state can't possess I haven't got enough uh, power to possess the basketball players still can't possess anyone let's try and get out of this room because I'm on fire oh there we go possess a cop back to uh, who's this Andre Trevor Roper and we got hit there so we're back to our parasitic state really cool little game it's hyper parasite and this one is down to $1.70 1.70 1 euro 70 at the moment
Okay, so the final game I've got today to bring you from the Cubic Games Anniversary Sale is Door Kickers. This one is down to $5 at the moment, being one of the more recent games. And I've also got three codes for this one to give away, so check the description for more details about that. This one is kind of a strategy game. Uh, you play like a SWAT team member. You have to clear out these rooms, clear out these areas. You get to do some strategic planning. Uh, let's do some flashbang. Let's chuck that in now. Uh, so you can plan that. You can play it in real time or you can do these planning stages. Um, we'll get the other guy here just coming around to check that. Um, so I'm just planning out their moves at the moment, where they're going to walk, what they're going to do, what way they're going to face. So I want the guy behind there to sort of back up his mate and then to face into the room after the flashbang is dealt. You press the minus button to switch between planning and live face. So I'm going to press play now and see my action play out. So wait for Mr. Man to throw a flashbang in. There we go, clear the area. And it takes us up. So let's just go back into planning mode. Uh, and yeah, you're just basically needing to clear these areas as a, as a SWAT team. We're just going to breach this room now. Cover our sixes. Uh, you can upgrade your characters as well. And when you reach certain levels, it'll unlock a campaign mode in the game. Um, probably need to flash bang that room over there. Get a flashbang in there. It's kind of an awkward angle. And uh, mate, your boy here can come and back up and face down there in case anybody tries to escape. Let's try that. Um, but yeah, really been enjoying this one. I played it years and years ago on the PlayStation, as I say. Oh, not PlayStation, sorry. On the iPhone. And uh, it's taken a while to come to the Nintendo Switch, but it's definitely a really good game. If you like something like XCOM, maybe something like that, it's not quite as deep as that. Uh, the cam campaign mode, from what I remember, was really good as well. Uh, but you have to get through quite a few training missions first before you can face that. But, yeah, it's a cool game. It's uh, If you like these sort of slow-paced strategy games, can definitely recommend it. There's a lot to do, a lot to collect when you finish your missions. You get rewards that you can spend on new weapons and upgrades and stuff like that. Oh, we've got someone in the other room now. That's a bad bit of planning, isn't it? You must have survived that flashbang. Oh, we've got a man down now. I'm, I'll be no good as, as a cop. Good job. And there we go. We completed that area. So we killed all the baddies. We only got one star though. As you can see on the right side there, you get a time to beat. And obviously, you know, they're not taking the casualties and you want to get rid of all the hostiles. And then uh, we get some money to buy some more weapons and so on and so on. As I say, when you get to a certain point, a campaign mode will open that will let you play that. Uh, it's just a really cool game. Again, it's just really well presented. As I say, I've not played too much on the Switch, but the controls seem to be fine. But I have played this one a lot previously on PC and iOS, and uh, it's a really good game. So there you go. That is my sort of selection of Cubic games that I've got on my system that I really enjoy. There's honestly not a bad one. As I said at the start, I know this is a sponsored video, um, but I genuinely, hand on heart, would recommend all of the games that I've shown you today. I've not played all of the Cubic games. As I say, there's nearly 60 on the eShop. So I've played about 10 of them and uh, that I've picked out the ones that I really liked. If you've got any questions about them at all, any anything you want to know any more, if you want to see any longer playthroughs, if I get enough comments, I may consider doing that. But other than that, there you go. Please go and check out the website for the discounts. Make sure you get one of those qualifying games to, uh, to qualify for the discounts. And also check out my description below for the giveaways. Good luck with those. I'll run them, I don't know, probably for a week. So we'll maybe say... Uh, let's say at the weekend, so we'll let it run this week, and then uh, probably Saturday evening, I will uh, do a draw and uh, get those announced and uh, let the winners know. So there you go. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Please subscribe if you're new. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and uh, I will catch you all next time. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.